children welcome back to our english grammar class can you quickly recall which grammar topic we learned in our last class yes it was about adjectives we saw six different types of adjectives also isn't it did you all complete the textual exercises yes you completed very good but something more we have to learn about these adjectives are you all ready for that okay let us move on with our tenth lesson from our grammar textbook that is adjectives degrees of comparison have you heard this degrees of comparison yes an adjective will change its form when we are using it to compare different types of nouns that is called as degrees of comparison that is called as degrees of comparison there are mainly three different types of degrees of comparison they are positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree let us see where we will use this positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree when we do not make any comparison in that situation we will be using a positive degree see this is satish i'm telling satish is a strong boy satish is a strong boy which is the adjective in that strong yes strong is the adjective satish is a strong boy which degree of comparison it is yes we are not making any comparison so it will be positive degree it will be positive degree now see i have satish and rohan here two boys are there satish and rohan now i am going to compare satish and rohan together i am going to compare satish and rohan and tell me satish is stronger than rohan satish is stronger than rohan when we compare two persons or things when we compare two persons or things in such situations we will be using comparative degree of adjective we will be using comparative degree of adjective clear about the comparative degree children now i have three boys here i have to compare them among three of them rohan is there satish is there and naman is also there i have to compare among three of them how am i saying yes naman is the strongest boy in the class naman is the strongest boy in the class when we have to compare more than two people or things then we will be using the superlative degree of the adjective then we will be using the superlative degree of the adjective naman is the strongest boy in the class so did you understand about the three degrees of comparison now let us see where in which instance and how we will be using how we will be forming the comparative and the superlative degrees of adjectives the first way to form comparative and superlative degree is most of the adjectives add er to form comparative and est to form superlative degree just see the example yes we have the positive degree as young how can we get the comparative degree of the adjective young young we are adding er what about the superlative degree youngest we are adding est small comparative degree will be smaller superlative degree will be smallest the next instance is if we have an adjective ending in e what we have to do to get the comparative form yes we have to just add r and to form the superlative we have to just add s T. Just see the example. Then it will be more clear to you. Nice. N I C E. It is ending with E. So how will you get the comparative degree of that adjective? N I C E R. Nicer. Nicest. Late. Later. Superlative degree will be latest. Now the third instance. Some of the adjectives will be ending with consonant. why so in that case what we have to do 
Yes, we have to change Y into IER to form the comparative degree of adjective. And to form the superlative degree, what we have to do? Yes, instead of Y, we have to add IEST. Just see the example, lucky. What is the ending? Yes, Y. So, what we have to do? Just change that Y and add IER to get the comparative degree of that adjective. Lucky, luckier. How will we get the superlative? Just instead of Y, we are adding IEST, luckiest. Heavy, comparative will be heavier. Superlative degree will be heaviest. Now, in some cases, the adjectives will be ending with the vowel Y. So, in that case, what we have to do? Yes, with the vowel Y, we have to add ER to get the comparative form. And to get the superlative form, what we have to do? We have to add EST along with this Y. Just see the example, gray. What is the comparative degree? Grayer. What will be the superlative degree? Grayest. Did you understand the difference? And the next one is, when an adjective of one syllable ends in a single consonant and it is preceded by a short vowel, what happens? The consonant is doubled and then to get the comparative degree of the adjective, we will add ER form and to get the superlative degree, we will be adding the EST form. But before that, let me ask you, what is a syllable? Yes, a syllable is a single unit of a speech. It can be either a whole word or one part into which a word is divided when we are speaking it. Sad. Yes, it is one syllable. Water. See, water. So, how many syllables are there? Two syllables. Here, we are talking about one syllable words. Just see the example. Hot. Hot. Ter. The consonant T is doubled and it becomes TT. And for the comparative, we are adding ER, hotter. For the superlative, hottest. Wet, wetter, wettest. Children, words which are having more than two syllables, how we can change them into comparative and superlative degree? Yes, to form the comparative degree of that adjective, we have to add more. And to form the superlative degree, we have to add most. What do you mean by a syllable? Yes, a syllable is a single unit of a speech. It can be either a whole word or one part into which a word is divided when we are speaking them. Sad, that is one syllable. Suppose if it is water, water, yes it is Two syllables. Did you understand how to identify the syllables? Yes, in such cases, with words having more than two syllables, we use more to form the comparative and most to form the superlative degree. So, difficult will become more difficult in the comparative form and most difficult in the superlative form. Careful will become more careful in the comparative form and most careful in the superlative form. Now children, there are some adjectives which will not follow any kinds of rule. Do you know which are the different types of adjectives like that? Just see the examples here. Yes, good. What will be the comparative degree? It will be entirely changing. Good, comparative degree is better. When we are comparing with two, then it will be better. Then for the superlative degree, that is when the comparison is between more than two persons or things, we will have the superlative degree for the adjective good as best. Good, better, best. The same way, old, older, oldest. Or it can be elder, eldest. Far, father, furthest. Bad. What will be the comparative degree? Worse. Superlative degree? Worst. Little. Less. Least. Many. 
it the comparative degree will be more superlative degree will be most for much also in the same way comparative will be more and superlative degree will be most okay children so in our today's class we saw which are the three degrees of comparison that is positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree and after that what did we see we saw the different ways by which we form comparative degree and superlative degree should remember all the ways by which we are forming comparative and superlative degree now i have an activity for you in our grammar textbook page number 38 page number 38 there is a let's try exercise you have to complete that as 